Hey everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the cards that I've set aside for my next PSA submission. Before we jump into it, if you guys could do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It really helps out the channel a lot and I would really appreciate it. Now without further ado, let's get into it. So um, I'm sure you guys have been collecting and putting some stuff off to the side for yourselves. This is what I've been doing. I'm going to kind of walk you guys through it. First up on the list is a 2021 Bowman Chrome Ricky Tiedman Gold Refractor to 50. So I bought this one on eBay. I think I paid a little over 200 for it. Um, looks like it's in really good condition. I'm anticipating at worst a 9, at best a 10 on the gold Ricky Tiedman. Uh, Ricky Tiedman is a prospect. I think he's ranked 38 right now by Baseball America. Um, somebody who I've been watching closely, so I picked up another one of him. This is just his regular out of um, out of 499 refractor auto. Um, again, I think this one is probably going to nine most likely, but it has a shot at a ten. The reason why I think that is just because I saw there was, you know, a line or two. I think I remember seeing on the surface. So I still want to get it slabbed up, um, especially if you're looking for like resale value. I think it's better to have it in a nine than it is just to sell it raw. So I'm hoping it gets a 10, obviously. I mean, it looks clean, looks really nice, but if it gets a nine, I'm okay with that. All these cards, by the way, that I'm showing you right now, uh, I think have a really good shot to 10, um, but if they nine, I'm okay with it. I'm not really expecting anything less than that. But when I do the, uh, the submission reveal, then obviously you'll get to see what they all come out as. So this is a Zach Veen, Bowman's best rookie card. This is another gold to 50 autograph really high on Zach Veen I think he's gonna be something special I definitely like him a lot I've been collecting him since he came out in the 2021 Bowman but this again is his Bowman's best to 50 put that one aside um, next up we got a gold tops finest so I do think that Bowman chrome and tops chrome are probably the most sought after product that goes without saying um, but I do really like some of these Topps Finest and Bowman's Best, um, especially if you can get them at decent prices. Like I think I maybe paid like 40 to 50 bucks for this, which I think out of 50, I think is a good investment. Um, Andres Jimenez, uh, he's a second baseman with the Guardians right now. He had, I believe, a five or six war in his rookie season. So for me, I was like, you know what? That's not, <laughs> that's not a bad guy to invest in, especially if you can keep that up. So I got a few of them. I got this gold. And then I also got this blue one, which I think I paid 15 bucks for. And this one's out of 150, right? And then I got another one that I paid 10 bucks for. This is just the base. Uh, I picked this up a couple months ago, 10 bucks, base auto. If it comes back as a 10, maybe I can resell it. Maybe I'll keep it. Who knows? Depends on how he does. But Andres Jimenez, good guy to look after. Um, I got another one. This is his Aqua Refractor in Topps Chrome. Uh, this one is numbered to 199. Um, there's two versions. I've seen him also in a Guardians uh, uniform, although it might say Indians at the time. Um, but I like the Mets variation because that's before he gets, you know, traded over to the Guardians. So I like this one a lot. Um, I already have one of these off in grading in the Aqua Refractor, and I think I have another one on the way. So I don't know why. I've just been picking up some of the aqua refractors. That's just me. Um, but I'll put that one off to the side and we'll jump into the next one. Uh, next up, who is this? Who is this? Oh, another gold. This is Riley Green. Um, I thought he had a really good season. Uh, next year will be his actual like rookie campaign season. Um, I think he's got a really good shot at winning rookie of the year. Again, number to 50, Bowman's best gold refractor. Um, I think it's got a shot at a 10. You know, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But I like Riley Green a lot. Uh, I think he had a great year. Phenomenal center fielder. The only thing I think that was missing on him was some power. And because he was only 21, I think he's 22 now, um, I do think the power will come with time. He's been getting some great at-bats. I really like Riley Green a lot. Next up, we have Framber Valdez. Uh, you saw this guy won two games in the World Series. Had a phenomenal year with uh, 25 straight quality starts. This guy is a workhorse. I really think that if 
Uh, Justin Verlander, you know, didn't win Cy Young. I think it would be Framber. Framber's coming along really, really nicely. Still young for a pitcher. I think he's 26. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments. I think he's 26. Um, this one is numbered to 499. I do have a couple of his orange refractors as well. This is just, just to have another one. Um, I'll put this one off to the side and we'll jump into the next one. Ah, okay. So taking a little gamble here on Spencer Torkelson. Uh, Spencer Torkelson, you know, had a bit of a down year, went back to AAA, came back, was absolutely killing it. Uh, so I thought this one was worth going in on. Uh, I got this one for around 200, maybe I think it was like 225 after like shipping and stuff. Um, this is numbered to 499. These cards were selling for a ton last year before he came up. Uh, he was the number one prospect back then. Uh, I think for the price that he's going for now, it's definitely worth taking a shot at getting a Spencer Torkelson if you want. Um, I believe in him. I, I think he's still young. He's got a lot of you know time to improve, and they're certainly going to give him the time he needs, at least for the foreseeable future. So we'll see how it goes. I think this is going to be you know 9 or 10 range. So we'll see. Put this one off. Uh, next up, got another Torque. This is a short print, Tops. Um, I've got a pretty strong feeling this is going to nine. I forget why exactly. I mean, corners look good. Centering looks good. I think there might have been something on the surface. I forget if it was on the front or the back. Um, it's got a shot at a 10. I just think probably going to end up with a nine. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Put that right there. Next up, Nate Lowe. Reasons why I think this is a good pickup. I got this one for like I don't know if it was like 30 bucks out of 150. This is Nathaniel Lowe, first baseman in the Texas Rangers organization. Um, he had a great year. Uh, he, he hit over 300, had 27 home runs. Um, I got this, again, raw, super cheap. I think it's probably going to grade a nine. I'm okay with that. It's out of 150. Um, I think the Rangers are going to have a good team next year. I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with the shift also. So you got to think, this guy's a lefty. Corey Seager's a lefty. If they move that shift around, I think they're going to have some more runs produced. I think they're going to have a good year. You know, everything, you know, in baseball when you're doing this is kind of a gamble. So I'll put this out there. Look, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to go out and buy Nate Lowe or Nathaniel Lowe. Um, I'm just expressing my own thoughts and feelings. You could take them for what they're, for what they're worth, I guess. Um, but uh, I was willing to go in on it. So especially at that price, not a bad buy. So putting that off, I'm going to be sending that one off to grading. Next up, Zach Veen. Uh, this is his image variation. Um, I do have one of these in a 10, and I found another one. I got this one for 40 bucks. Uh, a lot of people have them listed right now for like, you know, almost 100 bucks. So I got one for 40. And um, I, again, really high on Zach Veen. I think it's a really cool short print variation. So we're sending it off to see what it gets. Next up, boom, the Acuna bat down. Um, I think it's got a shot at a 10. I do. I think it has a shot. Um, I'd be cool with it if it comes back in a 9, but I think it's got a shot at a 10. The surface is super clean. Uh, it really just comes down to corners on this card um, and how hard they want to go. Um, you can see the corners look sharp, but you know if they pull it out and there's you know a touch of white, like who knows what could happen. Um, but I know that going into it. So again, I love the Acuna bat down. I think I got this one for 300, uh, which I think is a great price considering what they used to go for. Um, I think he's going to come back and have a strong year. So I think now might be a good buying opportunity if you want to get in on this card. Uh, it might be at a good price for you, especially with the markets and everything being down. So just a risk that I was willing to assume. But again, not telling you guys what to do. Just throwing it out there. Super clean card though. Really, really like it. Happy to have it in my collection. Um, moving along. Oh, this is cool. So Paul Blackburn, pitcher with the Oakland A's. This is a super fractor. This is a one of one. Now this is the, the tops. Um, I don't know if it's called clearly or cl I'm not sure. Clarity. <laughs> it's one of those high tech cards. Maybe it's, maybe it's just called high tech. Um, but it is a one of one. And this guy was on the all-star team. Um, he, he had a phenomenal year. I mean, pitching for the Oakland Athletics, um, he was their guy. 
He was the one guy they sent to the All-Star team, pitched in the All-Star game. Uh, he got Albert Pujols out in the All-Star game. He might be Albert's last um, out ever recorded in, uh, in the All-Star game. So, I don't know. Again, I, I believe in this guy. I think uh, good things are coming his way. We will see what happens. Um, but, hey, one of one, I was definitely willing to, uh, to go in on this one and definitely want to get it graded. Um, what else do we have? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So these are just some base cards that I have that I thought were were good just to send in. I felt like they were tens, and you might as well get them graded, right? So I got the Manny Machado, Bowman's best rookie card over here, and have the Pete Alonso Topps Chrome rookie card here. I know the pop count, especially on the Pete Alonso, is pretty high, but you know I think uh, Pete Alonso has been playing pretty strong, and he has been since the day he put on a jersey. Um, I think. These guys both have Hall of Fame potential, so I wanted to see if I can get some tens. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. Um, I think that's 18 cards, 17 or 18 cards. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 cards that I'll be sending off. Um, and then once I get them back, I will be doing the reveal. Um, so please stay tuned. Um, again, if you guys haven't done so already, please go down, hit the like button, the subscribe button. It would really help me out a lot. Hit the bell button if you want some notifications as to when I put out these videos. Um, I've been trying to put them out weekly. So I uh, hope to see you guys on the next one. Uh, let me know in the comments, honestly, anything you want. Let me know who you're collecting. Let me know what you want to see. Um, I'm down for all of it. I'm also on Instagram if you guys want to contact me directly. Um, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.